Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place, and today's video is about the problem with sugar. Sugar has a number of different uh, effects on our health, and so we want to kind of talk about that and hopefully help people fully understand before they reach for that sweet treat what is happening in your body when you do that. First and foremost, eating sugar actually can thicken our blood. So when our blood is thicker, that can raise our blood pressure, that makes our heart have to work harder. So the number one cause of death in our country is still cardiovascular disease and heart-related health problems. So sugar can contribute to that by thickening the blood, making the cardiovascular system have to work harder than it should to get oxygen and nutrients to your cells. So that's number one. Number two is it spikes insulin, right? Anytime we eat lots of sugar, our insulin goes through the roof and then that raises our blood sugar. The insulin is trying to get the sugar out of your blood and get your cells to take it in. And if you're constantly doing that cycle of always eating sugar, having uh, sugar spikes, releasing insulin to get it out of your bloodstream, over time, your cells can become what's called insulin resistant, meaning they will take the receptors out of the cell wall and say, we're not taking any more sugar in here. We can't because it makes the cell sick. So when you get that, the blood, the sugar stays in your blood longer and you get high blood sugar for longer periods of time, creating more and more of a problem, eventually leading to things like diabetes, leading to things like obesity, because if the cells won't take the sugar in, that sugar gets sent to the fat cells and gets made into body fat. So we can get obesity, we can get diabetes. This is not a recipe for success long-term for our health. Number three, this increases inflammation. Talk to anybody who's been pulled off of sugar and eating a clean diet, how much less inflammation, less joint pain that they feel. Increased clarity, not just inflammation in the joints, which is a really common thing when people are eating sugar all the time. People, when they start removing sugar and processed carbohydrates from their diet, they notice that they think clearly, that they're more clear headed because sugar can also cause inflammation in the brain. It can cause systemic inflammation, inflammation throughout your entire body. So that's a third thing. Remove that and you get that inflammation down, you start feeling better. Number four, it is addictive. So it is hard to let sugar go because sugar is actually very addictive. We have done these studies. We know it can be as addictive as cocaine. That's how addictive sugar really is. So one of the things, it doesn't mean you can't ever have carbohydrates, but sugar, processed sugar, processed carbohydrates can have these effects on your body. So when people are consuming carbohydrates, go for the oatmeal, go for maybe some brown rice, have some fruits and vegetables. Those are good sources of carbohydrates that tend to have less of a major spike on your blood sugar. But keeping an eye on your sugar intake in general is a good idea so we can avoid these negative effects of sugar. I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place.